Yo, check this out. Real quick, a quick promo. Shout out to my boy. I'm a boxer. Shout out to uh, Grappler. They got some fuego coming. If you are interested to play Esports Boxing Club and you want to play, you want to take your game to the next level, well, I got an Esports League for you, man. Eboxing League. Check out this promo. It's crazy sick. You're going to enjoy it. And, A, hey, if you want to be a part of it, I'm going to try to get permission from I'm a Boxer to go ahead and put the Discord link so you guys can join the Discord and be a part of a movement a part of something that's gonna be crazy man so y'all boys go ahead and check out this promo i ain't gonna lie it's heat it's heat and you know your boy definitely gonna be a part of it you know i'm out there from the throw these hands and that's on phone them <laughs> check out the promo though it's crazy it's finally come. this is a highly anticipated matchup right here we should see some fireworks earth Showcasing some great head movement right here, evading everything coming. Trying to turn up the heat here, but great defense and counter punching coming up his way. Timing and precision on point. That devastating one punch knockout power. Left hook shakes into his boot. Never can count out the heart of a champion. Look at the sweet science. Huge left hook. He's on wobbly legs. Can he finish him here? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Pryoxis, and I am back with another video now this is going to be another how-to video we're going to be using marvin vittori now i'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it with his perks and his stats then we're going to go into practice mode to look at his moves then we're going to jump into some ranked and look at some matchups depending on who we play against and i'll walk you guys through that so let's go ahead and start off with the perks you guys see he has bulldog wake up call workhorse predator and laser focus so some of these perks help his strike and some of these perks help his ground game as well and recovery okay then we go over to a stand up and the things that stand out most to me is the punch speed yes the blocking yes the accuracy the head movement the takedown defense and that's really about it he's not really uh, a predominant striker but then we go over to his grappling and you see everything is about 90 93 in that type of area so that's really what you want to be doing with marvin vittori is grappling but again you can strike with marvin vittori but he doesn't have great power then we go over to the health stats and you guys can see his cardio is 95 his chin is 95 his body health is only 90 legs 92 and recovery is only 94 or only recovery is good it's 94 okay and then we go over to the top moves orthodox chokes are level four guillotines level four boxing combinations level four his jab is level four and his overhand is level four so um go to go ahead and jump into practice mode let's look at his individual moves very quickly okay let's get it now again we're gonna go down game help view moves and now we're on marvin vittori as you see the green bar is under his name so, as you see here, he has a level 4 jab, a level 4 cross. The lead hook is level 3, level 3s all down here with the uppercuts, the body jabs, body crosses, the lead body hooks. All these things are level 3, but then we get down to the lead uppercut to the body, that's only a level 2. The rear uppercut to the body, only level 2. Elbows, level 2. The overhand, again, is a level 4 strike. And he actually has some pretty good boxing um well boxing stats as far as his punches then we go over to the kicks and uh i mean the calf kick with the rear leg is going to be level three but for the most part as you see here these kicks he doesn't really have great kicks and then we go over to the clinching he has that everything's about even about three stars uh well we go to the two stars with the knees to the head knees to the body so for the most part, when you clinch somebody, you want to throw some body hooks, some clinch hooks, uh, uh, or the hooks to the head, uppercuts, body uppercuts, and then some clinch elbows, basically punches, right, and elbows. We'll go over to the takedowns, and you see here he has a single leg four star. The double leg is going to be four stars, but the power single and the power double are not great takedowns, and I personally don't really use them. Now, he's wrestling takedowns is level four BJJ 
um, slash judo takedowns is on level two. But Marvin Vittori is mainly a wrestler, a guy that likes to hold the position versus doing too much damage. All right. Then we go to the ground and the ground straights is level three. The ground hooks are level three. Everything is level three, as you see here. So it's ground and pound. It's not going to be insanely good, but it's going to be about even. We go over to the submissions. And as we've seen before, the orthodox chokes and the guillotines are level four submissions. And as you guys see here, guillotines, you guys know what those chokes are. And if you don't know what orthodox chokes are, they're like rear naked chokes, arm triangles, north south choke, bulldog chokes. You know, as you see here. Now, we'll go over his combos, and as he said before in his top moves, he does have boxing combinations level four. Now, with that being said, guys, how we're going to use Marvin Vittor basically is like a boxer slash wrestler, and it's going to be dependent on our matchup. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into our first match, and if you haven't yet, do me a favor. Hit the like button, all right? Let's go. Now, as you guys see here, Look at who we're going against, a Kevin Holland. So we have to do the exact same thing Marvin Vittori did in real life to Kevin Holland. And what is that? Let's get him to the ground and look for control over damage and control over submission. Now, if you guys don't like wrestling, I highly recommend you go ahead and click off the video because that's what we're here to do uh, based off certain matchups. I know. Oh, here we go. We're going to take him to the cage. The second his back hits the cage, we're going to take our left stick and hold it down. All right. Now, again control over damage right just, let's just remember that I'm gonna look for the control oh Kevin Holland has that butterfly sweep oh and he has that here we go let's get up I wanted to go here let's go to the left ah see I'm gonna see where I messed up at I messed up when I when I didn't uh when I just postured up and tried to win the stack guard. Here we go. Nice. You just got to watch out for uh, Kevin Holland's hands. You can see that this guy does not want to play the outside game. He wants to play, get on the inside. But here's the thing. Marvin Vittori has hands. You, you can't, he's not a slouch. On top of that, um, Kevin Holland uh, has a very long arm. So in the pocket... If you guys didn't know, the longer your arms out, the slower you are in the pocket, actually. All right, again, make it back to the cage. We're going to hold our left stick up the opposite direction so we can get the turn and take down. Boom. Now we're here. No. No. I'm going to deny this. That's to the right. And then we're going to get the free crucifix. Let's hold the position. We got two minutes and 30 seconds to work. We're going to look to hold the position over doing some damage to him. All right, throw a strike. Just wait. We're really just going to be stalking, waiting to see what he's doing, right? Because we want to hold the position over over doing damage and over getting a submission. Yeah, you know, th this is a style that I feel a lot of people in UFC for. This is their wrestling. But it's just smart IQ wrestling as far as this matchup, right? Now he gets over to the to the half guard. I mean, I'm sorry. To the... What position is that? I'm tweaking. Here we go. It goes there. Nice. Let's see what he does. He goes to the left. Gets back up to the feet. Nice. That was side saddle, by the way. Oh, yeah. He's tripping. One, two. Again, our one, two is money. Our one, two is money. Our one, two is real good. Really, all of our strikes, all of our punch. Oh, that was nice. There we go. Nice. I'm going to use my one, two all day. I'm going to use my 1-2 all day. Nice 1-2 high kick. Okay. Nice. And I'm just getting in a little striking, man. Nothing major. 1-2-3. Catch with the uppercut. Good round. Okay. Respect, respect. Let's go. For sure. My round. My round. And what the? Y'all see that? It says, is that two out of zero? And I've both of my takedowns I shot, I actually got the takedown? It's whatever. I'll take it. Hey, we won that round. Um, we're currently waiting on him to go ahead and skip this with the replays in the corner or whatever. But he isn't skipping it. All right, here we go. 
Why was I sitting in Orthodox with Marvin Vittori? Tripping. Here we go. One, two. Ooh, that one, two was cash. Shoot the takedown. Let's drag him. Boom. Then turn it. Ooh, nice deny. Okay. Okay. But again, I can strike with you. Like, I can sit here and then box with you. Not too much. But I can box with you. Okay. We're going to work this jab. Shoot the single leg. Boom, turn it. Get him to the ground. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're really going to look for the control. We got three minutes and, what, 52 seconds to do work. Three minutes and 46 seconds to do work. We get the top mount. Here we go. Look for the control. Remember, control over damage. Um, I'm not sure what transitions Kevin Holland has in this position. We're going to go to side control. We're going to try not to let him get the uh, position he got last time. We denied that. Nice. Elbow, 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 elbow. And because I want uh because I want the position over like this submission, I'm gonna go top mount because it's a more dominant position than side control. He can get back to full guard, he can get even back up to the feet from side control. So nice. I see what he does. Go to the right. Now he's went to the right two times now. We did not that. All right. We got full grab of it. Go back to top mount. And I want to hold the top mount. Let's see what he does. I wonder if he's going to try to go up. I don't know if um, Kevin Holland has the transition to go up. Uh-oh. This is the ground and pound, man. Three-star ground and pound. Let's see if he goes. Nope, he goes up. Nope, I did not that. We got our stamina to get back up. We got the we got basically full grab advantage. We're going to go back to the ground and pound. Now his, his stamina's all the way down. Let's see if he's going to go to the right. Yep. He went to the right. Too predictable. Boom. We're going to mount. Get back up. Here we go. Now we're back here. Let's see if we go to the left. I assume he's going to go to the left this time. Actually, okay. Not. We're going to posture back up. Again, I'm going to look to bully him. Top mount is a very deadly position in this game. And if you don't get out of it, you're going to get smashed. Just like in real life. You're going to get smashed, man. Gotta get out of time. Gotta try to transition. But again, he was too predictable with his transitions. And uh, I was able to get the finish with the ground and pound, man. It was pretty disgusting. But um, I, again, I know some people highly dislike this type of play style. But you gotta respect somebody that can deny transitions and somebody that's controlling with the ground and pound. Now, while I will say I, the ground and pound system is terrible, I will I will be the, the first one to tell you the ground and pound defense system is terrible. The ground and pound offense system is terrible. But in this situation here, I did some good work. But, hey, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the next fight, guys. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button. Be right back. All right, here we go. Ooh, Division 12. This is going to be. All right. I can tell you right now, this is probably going to be an easier fight to win. But the principle on how to win doesn't change. So, we know. Paulo Costa, what is he known for? Them damn hands, and he's a pretty good, I mean, overall a pretty good kickboxer, right? So what are we going to do? We got to be more cautious. On top of that, Paulo Costa has, uh, he has, you know, lower reach. So in the pocket, he's going to do damage. We know what Paulo Costa hands are like in this game. And now our opponent is in the cage, right? He's going to go crazy because he doesn't want to be taken down. So I'm just going to follow him. Even if I take damage to, like, the body or something, I'm going to follow him. Right? I'm not going to step backwards. Like, we get the clinch here. Let's shoot the double leg takedown. Then we turn it. Boom. Getting down to the ground. We got four minutes to work now. We did not that transition. Boom. We're going back into the top mount. Control over damage. Right? Here we go. We go here. Oh, see what I mean? He doesn't have a great uh, ground game. This, this fight's about to be over. I can tell you that right now. We're going to go back to top mount. He goes up. We deny it. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to do another transition. No, he doesn't. Keep the grapple advantage. I'm going to go ahead and posture up. Oh, man. Look at his, look at his stamina. Stamina's low. Let's see what he does. He goes up again. No, we're not giving you that transition. Let's go ahead and go for the arm bar. His stamina's low. Boom. We're going to hold our left trigger on the left side already. because, And I'll explain to that after I get the submission. I'll explain why I did exactly what I did. Um... After I get this submission, yeah, this got submission defenses in there. Like I said, uh, I knew this was going to be a fairly easy match because of his division. 
But again, the principles don't change. He get the he rage quit. Okay, so what I was going to explain to you guys is basically right when you're on the ground and you get the submission. Now, whether it's the choke or the joint submission, if you're like, okay, in this situation, Paulo Costa is the red side, so the red side will always start on the left. The blue side will always start on the right. So whether it's a choke again or a um, joint submission, if it's a joint, you want to hold down your left trigger already towards the, your opponent's corner side. So if you're blue corner, you want to hold the left trigger. If you're red corner, you want to hold the right trigger, right? And your your bar will automatically be on that side. And what? And if it's a choke submission, you holding your left stick either either direction. But now I'll give you a disclaimer: the defensive guy can do the same thing. And he can hold it, his trigger, you know what I'm saying, where he can start on the right side, he can start on the left side, or he can start in the middle if he hold both triggers right before the, the submission hood pops up. And that's, again, that's the same thing with the choke submissions. But with the choke submissions, he can hold it multiple angles. He can hold it up, down, di di directional, you know what I'm saying, diagonal down to the right, diagonal down to the left, and he can, you know what I'm saying, keep that in mind. It really helps you get a boost as far as, defense and offense if your opponent doesn't know which side you're on all right quick little tip but let's move on to the next one okay so we're back nice we're going against somebody that is a division 20 opponent with 2000 plus points he's using michael bisping now i can actually box with michael bisping but i have the advantage that i can take him to the ground i also have cardio to run with him you know what i'm saying all five rounds if needed be but i'm not going to underestimate michael bisping I'm actually going to play a bit more aggressive as far as distance because I don't want him to back me up to the cage. You know, I want to be doing my work on the ground and stuff like that. Boom, we're going to shoot the double leg takedown. He denies it, which is nice. He doesn't do anything with the denial. Okay, one, two. Let's see what he's throwing. Throws a cross lead hook. Nice. Then goes to the body. Nice uppercut. One, two. All right, nice. Nice. Okay. Get out the way. Boom. Shoot the takedown. Nice. He was already holding the denial. So, what that tells me is he's already prepared to look to deny my takedowns, right? Because he's denied two now. Nope. Nope. Also, when we're in a pocket, he'll throw a combination, right? And then he'll come with another one. See right there? He'll throw a combination. And then he'll come with another. Like that again. He did the same thing. So um, he's also, when he throws, he's usually throwing like straight punches with the with the second combination. And he's also like leading it, ending it with a hook. There you go. See? See what I mean? So what does this do for me? Well, for one, I'm not taking much damage with these combinations, right? I'm not taking much damage with these combinations. Also... He's using stamina, but he's Michael Bisping, so he'll be fine, right? And I don't want to sit here and spam takedowns. I've used, I've uh, shot two takedowns, so I don't want to go too crazy on the takedowns. I don't want to lose a lot of stamina getting my takedowns denied. Nice little one right there. If he tried to throw the kick, but he fainted, and if he actually threw that kick, he possibly could have got rocked. Like I said. I can box. Marvin Vittori, you'd be surprised how good Marvin Vittori hands actually are in UFC 4. And it's because of his perks on top of uh, his stats or his punch stats. I know his power isn't much. And you see I'm not really throwing kicks because, he, I mean, he has a good calf kick, but that's really about it. I'm not even going to use that. Boom, get the rock. Now I'm going to go to the body, to the body, go up top, to the body, cross, boom, to the body back up to the body that was a nice work right there with the boxing again like i've said marvin vittori definitely can box i will shoot a takedown but it's only 30 seconds left boom we catch him here boom boom he's near the cage we can go a little bit crazy as far as our boxing but i keep it crazy you guys will notice that i'm using his his good strikes that one two his one two is level four strikes so that's what i'm going to utilize but i can't be too predictable because if i am guess what he can counter but the thing is if he isn't countering like if he isn't trying to counter me then i'm going to continue to throw you know the strikes that i throw he isn't going to move his head and try to counter 
and making adjustments. Why should I change my game plan if it's working, right? Nice. But again, for the most part, I want to wrestle Michael Bisping. He doesn't have the greatest ground game. I know this. He, he is a... Whew. See what I mean? This guy is very combo heavy. Very combo heavy, but I'm not going to allow him to bully me. I'm going to walk forward. Boom, we go there. I shoot the takedown. Boom, we turn it. Get him down to the ground. Side control. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can sneak in a quick little crucifix. Boom. Nope, he denies it. Nice. Now, I don't want him to get sprawl because if he gets sprawl, he'll put him in a position where my back will be near the cage and he can choose a 50-50 and either get up and, you know, push me to the cage and uh, he'll be, you know, the dominant fighter on the cage or he can go down and get the side control reversal transition. But we did the nice transition, threw a couple elbows, got him in a crucifix. Now we're inside saddle. And I'm going to deny his transition trying to go to side control every time. 100%. Yep, got the denial. I'm not going to... I'm in this position because I, I'm getting some nice ground and pound work. Right? So now the second we go to this position, I'm going to posture up and uh, do damage because he, he already had a lot of block missing. He's probably going to go up. Yep, I pre-denied that. We're going to get the denial. And um, so when we went to this position, I postured up immediately and looked to do some ground and pound. Why exactly? Because I was doing damage to his block and damage to it. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not going to go for a rear naked choke here. I'm just going to go for the position over the submission. But I could have rear naked choked him right here. Maybe not got the submission, but I had a lot of grapple advantage to try to get the submission. Now, we're in top mount. I'm going to see what he's going to do. He's just waiting here for a transition to deny. He does deny that. Let's see what he's going to do. Going to wait. Going to wait. He's not doing anything. He's allowing me to keep him in this position. He goes over to the half guard. Tries to transition again. We deny transition. You see the grapple advantage. We got a fair amount. So we go ahead and go with the top mount transition. Try to posture up. We do get it. Boom. Nice. We're going to posture back down. See what he's going to do. He's going to go left or right. I'm not sure if Michael Bisping has the transition to go up. But again, he goes to the right. I believe he's went to the right the last few times. Now, usually... We've been going top mount. Let's take it to the side control just to mix it up. Boom, 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 boom. Now, 39 seconds, 38 seconds. I can't get a submission, but I can continue to get some nasty ground and pound with these elbows. And now, this is the position I'm talking about. He can go up or he can go down, right? Now, if he goes up, I have to deny it instantly, essentially. If he goes down, I got time to deny that, but that's the mix-up. It doesn't give me much time to think which one he's going to use because I got a 100% deny up. If I'm not quick on it like this, he's going to get the actual transition. All right. Here we go. Michael Bisping, Marvin Vittori. In that last round, I kind of did a lot of damage on that ground. You can I mean, look at his face. Look at his face. Woo. And that, let's see how that affects him, you know, going into this next round. Because, he, like I said, he took a whole bunch of damage. And Crucifix, he took a little bit of damage, right? Go to the body. Go to the body. And then also in the side control at the end there, he took a, a whole bunch of damage. Nice. Let's go for the clinch and then knees because he think I'm probably going to take him down. Nope. Okay. Faint. Shoot the takedown. We're going to turn it up. Boom. Back to the ground. Back to side control. See what he's going to do. Try to get the top mount but can't because, again, I don't want to be in this position. He does go here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Let's see. I'm going to assume he's going to go up. So, two strikes. Boom. He actually allowed me to get this backside transition, which is bad. Which is bad. He goes to the guard. Nice. He gets the denial. He goes down. I get the denial. Now I'm just going to throw these strikes to keep my grapple advantage. Right? Keep a little stamina boost. Boom. Go over the half guard. Boom. I don't know why he keeps allowing me to get this top mount. Boom. We denied that transition there. Let's throw a punch. Make him think we're going to try to do a transition. So we look for a transition deny. And we're going to go for the ground and pound. And this is possibly over. Yep, that's it. That's it, man. You really got to be careful, man, with that top mount. Postured up. 
and taking that ground and pound, man. It's no joke. It's no joke. The system is whack and it's easily abused, man. I'm telling you that right now. But I think, I think, how long is this video? Yeah, we, we're deep into the video. We're way too deep into the video. I think it's best if we go ahead and sign out from here. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get Robert Whitaker, but against Robert Whitaker, we would definitely be, uh, again, we would be kicked by, well, boxing heavy because um, Marvin Vittori can actually throw the hands a little bit with Robert Whitaker, and then we would basically be looking for the takedown. But, hey, it is what it is. We got the win. Now, I will tell you this. If I went against an Israel Adesanya, I'm 100% looking for takedowns because striking versus Izzy with someone that cannot kick it's hard, okay? I can see that right now, but again, we'll be doing that for a different video. I will continue to do how-to videos because I want to go deeper into, we'll, you know, go back into what I what I came up off of, and that's, you know, teaching you guys how to get wins and how to be a better ES Sports UFC 4 player. But with that being said, your boy's going to sign off from here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe up, and turn on notifications. I'm going to sign off from here, man. You boys have a great rest of your day. Peace.